Hi, I'm Gary Boss. I'm the Marketing Director at Audio Technica, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics, and I'm going to give you my top nine mic mistakes. And why not ten? Well, because I couldn't think of a tenth, and top ten lists are way too overrated anyway. So, first of all, number one, too many mics for the job. And we can paraphrase this as never use two when one will do. Uh, I know this is counterintuitive. You want to pick up, uh, say, a group of people talking. Uh, this can cause all kinds of problems. You put five microphones there because you think it's going to give you a bigger sound, but the reality, it doesn't. It does exactly the opposite because of phase problems, which we'll actually get into later. But always use one if you can get away with it. Okay, so the second rule is choosing the wrong mic or monitor placement in a live uh, situation, and then you blame the microphone. Like, why does this microphone not work? So you gotta remember about the polar pattern of the microphone. Now, this is a cardioid microphone. We know to put the monitor right behind, but sometimes you'll find that you have a hypercardioid mic microphone because they're getting very popular in clubs. Well, cardi or hypercardioid microphones, you never wanna put the monitor right behind. You wanna put it off to the side. Or maybe you're a drummer and you, uh, have your hi-hat microphone pointed straight down, but then you have your monitor pl uh, pointed right at that hi-hat, and you're gonna feed all that audio back in. So again, always keep in mind where your monitor placement is and what kind of mic you're using. Now, this is a big pet peeve of mine. This would be looping the mic cable through the amp handle and hanging the mic in front of the speaker. So essentially what you do, and kind of some clubs, the guy will get lazy or his mic stand broke or something, he'll loop the mic cable through the handle of the amp and set it like this against the front of the mic, in front of the front of the amp. Worst thing possible to do. First of all, this is where the sound's supposed to go in. Second of all, if sound goes into the side here, you're gonna get uh, a lot of attenuation. It's not supposed to, so it's gonna be much quieter and you're gonna have to push your mixer more, which is gonna give you more noise and more stuff coming into it. And now that microphones never sound as good coming in from the side as from the front, okay? Now I'm a drummer and number four is a real pet peeve of mine. And that would be using old janky mic clips when you're putting your mics on or using the wrong size. Uh, I can't tell you how many times that I've been drumming and at the same time trying to slide the snare mic back into the clip or the hi-hat mic is buzzing on my hi-hat. Uh, again, check your mic stands, make certain they're tight, make certain you're using the right clips for the microphone. Now the fifth one is improper mic storage. Um, Mics are more durable than ever, we know that. But please just don't throw them in a work box or a milk crate, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Respect your microphones. The third thing is not cleaning your vocal microphones. Now, you go to a club, there's nothing you can do about that, but hopefully you're bringing your own microphone or getting your own microphone. Uh, keep in mind, these head cases come off. Don't mess with that part, set that away. But this head case has foam inside. We can pull this foam out, we can take uh, maybe a toothbrush with Listerine, clean off the head case. We can soak that foam and uh, get it all dry and put it back together. You got a new microphone that doesn't stink like a nasty bar. All right, thank you. Uh, seventh is, is uh, a real big problem, and that's not knowing what the instrument is supposed to sound like. If you're gonna mic an instrument, the first thing you should know is know what it's supposed to sound like before you mic it or amplify it. So go into the room or on stage and have the drummer play or have the guitar player play or listen to the acoustic guitar before you ever think about miking it. Now the eight is, is real similar to that and that's mic placement. Use your ears. If someone's gonna play an acoustic guitar and you're gonna set the mic somewhere, get down there and put your head in by the instrument and really sound here where it sounds the best. It could be up by the, up by the fretboard or down by the, the hole in the guitar. Go up to a drum and have it tap and find out where it resonates and where it sounds good. And this will give you a good rule of thumb as to where to place the microphone. And then you can actually move it around for subtle changes. Um, small mic placement differences will change the sound of your recordings or your live sound dramatically. Now the ninth one, this is just a big no-no. And I know it looks cool and I know everyone wants to do it and that's doing this, okay? Now I know this looks totally BA, but the problem is you have just taken about five years of engineering know-how and in two seconds destroyed it all. These microphones require audio to come into the back of the microphone through these little ports, and it's very scientific. They're uh, filtered and all these kind of things, and that creates the pattern and the sound of the microphone. When you sit there and take your hand and cup this microphone, you're closing off all those ports and essentially making this an omnidirectional microphone, which is gonna feed back like crazy and making it sound really thin and hollow. Don't do it. I know your image is important, but isn't your voice more important? All right, well, this was my top nine tips. 
Hopefully this helped and thanks for watching.